Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Carlson LS703-RH-Maroon-BO is what this is. This is a lifting mechanism that is going to be rear wall mounted. Uh, will be in a maroon spring type and will be right hand and will be in a black oxide finish. So let's dissect that part number a bit. So the LS703, the, that is the type of spring that you're dealing with. And there is a link below this video to a document called Mounting Drawings. And I'd like for you to review that at this time, pull that document up. And it will show you the, simply put, it will show you the three different mounting type lifting mechanisms available from Carlson. There's the 702, which is sidewall mounted, meaning this mounting pad at the bottom is meant to be mounted directly to the sidewall of the, what I'll call the foot locker, the piece of furniture that you're building to place at the end of a bed, that type of scenario where you'll lift the lid up and be able to put uh, items inside. My teenage son has had one there for 15 years. Um, and uh, I'll call it a foot locker is what I'll call it. The 703, which is what we are reviewing here, is a rear wall mounted unit. Okay, uh, And we'll talk about that difference in a moment. And then there's the 900, uh, which is mounted off the back side of the unit, which we don't sell often that item uh, whatsoever. I uh, can only imagine that maybe a reason would be because it is exposed, the hardware's hanging off the exterior of the unit, might make it less elegant uh, in terms of an installation. Uh, maybe you might want it absolutely if you really want to keep moving uh, little fingers from you know being inside and the lid coming down, that sort of scenario. You might want the hardware removed out of the interior of it. Uh, that might be a reason for using it actually. Okay, So those mounting drawings uh, call that out. The 702 sidewall, 703 rear wall mount, and then the 900 is an exterior backside mount. The letters, the RH, uh, this, is, this is an RH. When you stand in front of the foot locker and lift the lid up, the left is on the left and the right is on the right. So from your perspective, looking at this video, that lifting mechanism is on the right, and that's where that comes in. These pads go towards, bent over towards the center of the unit. If I had another lifting mechanism here, it would be uh, it would be on the left. So keep that in mind. That's how you'll hand them. Simply face the unit, lift the lid, left and right. Um, maroon. We're going to talk about the how to determine the spring type. There's probably eight or ten spring types, and the maroon is meant for a specific load rating, which we're going to define in a moment. The dash bo is black oxide. This is a black oxide finish, and again, you can do a um, statutory bronze, which is by far the most common. If you don't necessarily care about the finish uh, or don't have an opinion either way, order the statutory bronze. That will prove to be the quickest lead time. The black oxide is always a substantial lead time uh, to get uh, procured because it's not standard. They have to set up the machinery to do it. It always takes a significant amount of time. This order for these black oxide units took six weeks uh, just because of the black oxide. The client was in no particular hurry and it didn't really matter. It was a project he wanted to get to at some point in the spring or summer. And there you go. He's gonna, he had patience, he had time on his side, and he got exactly what he wanted. So keep that in mind. The Moving on, the below the, this video, Let's talk about the extended description of the unit of the um, of the item profile. Self-balancing lid closure, back wall mounted, keeps heavy lids from slamming shut, opens lid top, holds lid top open in any position. It will allow you to leave that basically in any position that you like. Available in either in statutory bronze or black oxide. Features a br solid brass enclosure slide, cover brackets riveted to the cam, cover brackets, high quality spring available in different tensions for different lid sizes. Again, we'll talk about that in a moment. 
This is a right hand versus the left hand, and you can install two right hand or two left hand on a unit. You might want to order one of each just so that there's symmetry when you open the lid. Uh, maroon spring color, six inch overall size. Everything is steel on this with the exception of the brass uh, cap that's in there. Okay, everything else is steel, spring is steel. Now there is below that a calculator for determining spring color. This is a maroon spring and there are again eight or ten different spring colors. That calculator allows you to easily determine what spring color you want and let's move to the formula by which that is determined. That is determined by and let's pull up the, the other PDF that's down below which is going to be called the let's see here now that's going to be called the assembly of 700 series and uh, it's a two page document the middle of page one there is a table that's there that will allow you to uh, see the spring color table spring color two four six eight there's eight of them inch pounds low limit then high limit to find inch pounds multiply half the, the formula is this to find inch pounds, multiply half the distance from front to back times the weight of the lid. So here's what that means. When you have the foot locker closed in front of you, measure the depth of the lid. Let's say it's 14 inch. It says take half of that. So seven. Now weigh the lid. You have to be able to weigh the lid. Let's say it's seven pounds. 14 divided by two is seven. Multiplied by seven pounds is 49. When you look at the table, it turns out maroon is within the limit of 45 to 55 pounds, so you would select the maroon color spring. Okay, That calculator back on the extended description, just you don't have to do the math um, you know, or worry about it, but you do have to measure the distance of the lid, the depth of the lid, and then the weight of the lid. Okay, So keep that in mind. The page one is the installation at the top of the 702 and then the bottom for the 703, and let's go over that. Simply stated, place bottom bracket so that the top screw, the bottom bracket, oh, whoa, hello, the bottom bracket, bottom bracket, so that the top screw is one and a sixteenth from the top of the rear panel down to the center of that screw. Okay, one and a sixteenth. The bottom of the top of the lid pad. The bottom screw here should be three inch from here to the bottom of the lid. When you've got that open at basically 85 degrees or so, you should have three inch there and then from the rear wall panel down to that first hole, inch and a sixteenth. Get those fastened. If you can, test the operation without putting in the other screws, but don't stress the screws initially. Um, and then once you are sure that it works, fasten everything. Now the installation instructions clearly state maintain those two dimensions three inch here inch and a sixteenth here attach everything screws are not included you'll need a number six pan head screw for this um, the distance over from the edge uh, you know twenty five percent over from this side twenty five percent over from this side you know i would think that if you're doing a single lifting mechanism uh... you might want to be in the middle of the unit and use either hand um, whatever whichever hand you like um, so no hard and fast rules about that but symmetry where the hinge is pointed you don't want to have a point of torque you don't want the panel to have to be uh, allowed to twist really at all you want to have mounting points equally spaced would be my guess uh, the second page of that PDF is a couple of very detailed drawings on both the 702 and 703 series that will show you what the unit looks like as it articulates from its open to closed position and give you incredible dimensional properties over everything. Back to the extended description, there is below the calculator a video from the factory that shows what the unit looks like in operation or these units look like when it's put onto a uh, foot locker. There's some images that we have taken, a couple of close-up images of what it looks like from the factory as well. And that's another thing, one of those images clearly shows the installation of this material is going to need to be compliant with um, 
you know, any sort of construction that one second from the bot or the bottom photograph shows, they've got that placed in the only location they could have placed it uh, much closer to the center because the thickness of their, they've got recessed panels in that construction. So they placed it where they had members. They probably added those members spe specifically for that purpose to mount these two. So that's why they've got them so far in. But, you know, with those three hinges that are shown on there, there'll be no torque on the unit at all. Finally, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Carlson products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the Carlson LS703RH Maroon-BO right-hand lifting mechanism or any other Carlson product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.